Hello, and thank you for checking out this session at the International Solid State Circuits Conference 2021 on optical and electrical transceivers for 400 gigabit per second Ethernet and beyond. I am your forum organizer, Tony Chan Karasoni. My co-organizer is Sudeep Shekhar from the University of British Columbia, and we were joined and supported by a committee of outstanding expert volunteers from around the world, putting together a really excellent lineup of speakers for you. In this video, I'm going to just set the stage for the session and uh, I'm going to give an outline of the forum for you. So first, just a very quick self introduction. I am a professor at the University of Toronto, where I, along with some talented graduate students, perform research on wireline transceivers and analog integrated circuits more generally. I've been a member of the ISSCC wireline technical program committee for five years. And you may know me as co-author of a couple of textbooks, Microelectronic Circuits and Analog Integrated Circuit Design. I'm also very excited to have recently been named Editor-in-Chief of the IEEE Salt State Circuits Letters, which is similar to our sister publication, the Journal Salt State Circuits, but focused on short papers with a rapid turnaround. You can find out more about me at one of these websites or following me on LinkedIn. So first, just a bit of context for the forum. The past many years of active research and wireline links has led to transceivers operating at serial data rates well above 50 gigabits per second and more recently above 100 gigabits per second with, while uh, achieving very low power across a wide range of channel losses for copper interconnect. Uh, at the same time, research on transceivers for optical modules have focused on low power and low cost implementations. Generally, the research is focused on relatively simple two PAM and four PAM modulation with linear and or decision feedback equalization. Now it's normal to see block forward error control coding employed in these links. This forum focuses on research that is transforming wireline links for 400 gigabit per second ethernet and beyond. To meet new demands, new paradigms are taking hold. As we push beyond old limits, every dB and every milliwatt counts. Compact optical transceivers are being co-optimized alongside the neighboring circuitry. Modulation and coding are being reconsidered, and we're seeking solutions that are co-optimized in terms of their performance and in terms of their DSP implementation. In some transceivers, so much of the circuitry is focused on modulation and demodulation that at some point, I think it makes sense for us to start referring to these simply as modems. Other transceivers are being tailored to extremely short and within package links. Here, the focus is on density and low power. The forum's on-demand video content will be available for registered attendees from Friday, February 12th at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, all the way through to March 31st, 2021. Each speaker's recording is about 45 minutes in duration, and we'll also have a live session on February 22nd, 2021, where registered attendees can ask the forum speakers questions directly. Even if you don't have a question, I'm sure it'll be interesting to hear others' questions and to hear the ensuing discussion. On the next couple slides, I'll go over the schedule for the live event. All times are given in Pacific Standard Time. The first four presentations are from experts at Cisco, Intel, the Chinese University of Hong Kong, and the Technische Universität in Berlin. They all generally relate to optical transceivers that are compact and co-optimized. The next two speakers are from InFi and IBM Research, focusing on modulation and coding methods for 400 gigabit per second Ethernet and beyond systems. The seventh speaker is from Rambus and discusses both modulation methods for 400 gigabit per second Ethernet systems and very low power transceiver implementations. Our final speaker is from TSMC and will discuss the design of communication circuits for side-by-side -side and stacked chiplets. Please join us for what I'm sure will be an excellent forum.